as Doton would be able to tell you even better, it's taken a long time to get all the the people in place that were uh, were really needed to have a full Arthur Anderson office. But I passed the baton to, to Doton, I guess it was in 1994, is that about right, Doton? Not 93? Yeah, yeah something like that. He let me stay in one for a little while, I guess. And uh, that's when uh, breaking off and doing things in the investment area uh, started to happen. And as we got early in the uh, investment uh, career, uh, Business Day was one of them that we invested in early. And so getting to know Frank and getting that started has been a, a, a process of how many years? When did we first invest in, in Business Day, Frank? Uh, about 2001, 2002. I had known Frank ahead of time, so uh, the, the time with Frank was uh, was probably uh, at least five or six more years than that, etc. sort of thing. So when you start an answering the question you, you gave me, uh, one thing led to another. And it's uh, amazing to look around this room and see people that I've I knew from various different uh, uh, jobs and, and projects and things of this nature, you told me that this morning would be with your staff and we would have a few easy questions, etc. And uh, so you don't have to prepare anything. Now, Frank's known for veracity and for uh, you know hard work and making sure that uh, he meets the not only financial times standard but the economist standard and, and wall street journal standard which we already are, are associated with but there comes a time when he invites you to a, a meal that he didn't completely tell the whole story now frank i'll let you go back to answering the question you know, based on that where was the summit you you can you can pick out 50 different things that weren't here 40 years ago that are really milestones in this country. And the question is, how did they happen and how can you make them, more of them happen and how can you get it spread out over the whole country and how do you get the political system and other systems behind it so that you have a rapid growth in the future because you've really laid the foundation the right way sort of thing. There, there is no reason to think that you give up on things. So I'd rather you, you talked about an unfinished business or in process, a vision in process and not one, oh, this is lost. I mean, you know, we're, we're in terrible trouble. I mean, God has forsaken us and, and the rest of the world doesn't like us and all this sort of thing. No. The problem is right here at home. It's no different than my mother and father say, when you point your finger at somebody, remember four fingers are pointing back at you. This audience can build a greater Nigeria, but you have to get other people like-minded to do it. And I'll bet you there's a few people that have been in government who can tell you that, that there's some things that have to be done there. And in all kinds of non-profit organizations, the same thing. But every one of you in this room have built good organizations, good, good uh, uh, bricks in the building of a great nation. And it's not lost, it's just unfinished. Now let me just end this by saying, when did the United States get its independence? 1776. When did they fight the Civil War? Oh, the 1860s? When did they actually get to the point that they were a, an economy that was really developing and grew very rapidly sort of thing? Oh, wasn't even, it wasn't even the 1900, probably 1890s, 1895, 1900. Wait a minute, 1776 from these dates? Look, you don't give up on Nigeria. Just make it grow in the right direction, and you are the people who will plant the seeds.